is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video as you guys can see today ladies and gentlemen we have freaking tons and tons of wwe action figures i mean my god in heaven these are all of our pickups that we have gotten over the last like week or so like my god at all the hauls all this stuff just coming in stock hitting stores and all this stuff we're not even including the ghostbuster set or the elite rock you know the walmart exclusive that's been hitting and then the Liv morgan and sonya deville that's been hitting stores we're not even including that guys i mean this is this is absurd at all the figures that are just hitting 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 all at once and just destroying my wallet you can't help your wallet out though if you go to wrestlingfigures.com ringside collectibles and you use the promo code md toys you can save 10 percent and if you want to you know get in on all their sales and epicness they got going on guys you definitely need to do so and use that promo code so you can save some freaking money but these are all the figures that we picked up over the last like week or so and it's ridiculous man just again we went on toy okay so let's just go ahead and break it down. I mean, we have Elite Series 71 featured. We have some Walmart exclusive featured here. We have some Target exclusives featured here. We have some Ultimate Editions. We have some Chase variants that we found. We have some stuff that came in stock that we just had to grab, and we found some extras for customs, and we're just overflown here, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous, but uh, let's just go ahead and run through it right quick. We're just going to break down sort of what we got going on here, and I'll, I'll tell you this. I tried to weigh all these figures so that I could, you know, I wanted it to reach like 10 pounds or so, but it didn't even reach that. It was like 8 pounds total of figures, and I was like, well, that's kind of, that didn't sound like that much. So I figured, why not showcase them all, and you know, it can kind of show you, you know, tell the story that we got going on here, and we have some new additions that you guys have not quite seen yet, but we have Network Spotlight Osco, which is a Target exclusive. Very nice figure, even though, look at this jiggly wiggly right here. What is this crap right here, dude? That is ridiculous. Like, I understand, like, it, it's actually something that's not hard to fix, but still, man, I mean, that's, that's pretty terrible. Okay, not only do we have that guys we also have a couple of the elite 71 big show which is very nice um you guys know that we picked up a set from ringside and then i ordered an additional set and i really like this figure i think it's pretty sweet we're gonna do a fix up with this down the line i'm sure i just don't know what exactly i want to do just uh, almost vomited we, we don't know what we're gonna do with this one just yet but there's the elite 70 big show up in the house we also have two different elite 71 drew mcintyres you guys know that this figure comes with the interchangeable head sculpt so you have the hair in the face and then he flicks his head you know he does the freaking head flick and his hair is out of his face there so you have two different versions with that happy to have two of those versions there different versions with that happy to have happy to have happy to have two of those versions there next up guys we do have big daddy cool right here and this is the network spotlight target exclusive never owned a diesel big daddy or kevin nash figure this is actually my first one ever so i'm happy to have this however uh, i feel like his shoulders loosey-goosey man like what's up with that man the freaking i'll tell you this something this is what i think is wrong with the figures and this is why we have so many problems when they store the figures in the packaging and you have this little elastic band right here when it goes around the arm or if it's like it over the top part of the figure, it will always give you, more than likely, it's going to give you a loose arm joint like that, or some sort of loose joint. It's because, like, this puts so much tension on it that I guess it, like, grips it down, and then by the time, you know, it's been, it's probably packed up for weeks on the end before you actually unpack the figure out of its packaging, so that's probably why the freaking arms and all the goose is loosey-goosey, man. That freak, that's freaking terrible. That's just something to mention right there. Next up, we do have this Finn Balor figure. I wanted to include this because we did do this custom and we did the fix up yesterday on action figure surgery if you guys missed out on action figure surgery episode 33 you better go freaking watch it okay go freaking watch it it's a great episode and we made this so i wanted to include that it's just a simple elite 70 head freaking repaint for the so we have that Finn Balor figure. We also have Nikki Bella. We have two Nikki Bellas, actually. The other Nikki Bellas over here on the other div right here. So we have two of these. Again, I ordered two full sets of Elite Series 71. And you know what? I, I don't, don't ask me questions, Brad. It's just what I did. So I have a uh, Elite 71 John Cena and Nikki Bella. I have two Nikki Bellas, one with the shirt, one without. And then you have the Elite 71 John Cena with the green and stuff. And I guess the hat does fit the figure, but only if you put it on backwards. If you put it on forwards, it 
looks terrible. So there's John Cena and Nikki Bella. I really like this John Cena figure, you know, even though the hat doesn't really fit, unless you put it on backwards. Next up, guys, we have some more network spotlights right here. We have Gender Football, and we have Rey Mysterio, and I really like these. I love the yellow colors. The yellow really pops off nicely on both of these guys, especially Gender. But again, with this Gender, Lucy Goosey freaking arm, man. It's not, you know, it's not a huge deal, but it's not great, and the only way to fix it is to put one of those small rubber bands on there, and it's just, I, I shouldn't have to do that, man. I should not have to do that or do anything like that, but I really like the arm sculpt that we got going on with Gender. I love the yellow attire. I think it's freaking flames fire nasty for gender football and I love the Maharaja so he's looking good man. I, I like this a lot. I think this is a perfect figure yeah, outside of my loosey goosey arm right here. So if you guys don't have this you know we didn't do an in-depth review of the network spotlight figures but I really enjoy both of these. I think that uh, the, you know they go hand in hand really nicely. They're not a tag team. They don't go hand in hand down the freaking yellow brick road. I mean they could with their yellow on there but that's not what we're talking about here. I just meant they're in the same set and they look good and another loose Goosey Goosey arm. Freaking upsetting. Next up, guys, we have some Retro Fest figures. And these are actually in stock at Ringside Collectibles right now. You can go grab Iron Sheik and Mr. Perfect, I think. And uh, this the Mr. Perfect, kind of disrespectful, but I have him getting, you know, FU'd or AA'd right now. And so he's getting posed to be AA'd. But you guys can see here we have Iron Sheik, who I freaking love. Love Iron Sheik to death. My first elite Iron Sheik in the collection. I love him. I think he's fantastic. And uh, just a swell guy. So I had to get Iron Sheik in the collection. Love that cloth robe we got going on. And then for John Cena, we have another John Cena from Elite 71, and again, he's he's AAing Mr. Perfect. And this Mr. Perfect figure is pretty much perfect. I think the head sculpt looks good. Uh, the attire's solid. The black attire looks good. And I think this would look great. Even if you head swap this with another Mr. Perfect, I think it would look swell. So we have our Retro Fresh figures, guys. If you want to go pick these up at Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS. You can get both of these over there, as well as another John Cena, which now he looks like he's freaking doing just that. that that's not a... I don't, I don't know what the hell he's doing. All right, so there is those figures guys next up we have the chase variant mustafa ali and i got this figure on our toy hunt um i found this and i'm so glad i found this because this is the mustafa ali that i was missing i have two of the yellow version had to have a red version and not only did we find mustafa ali on that toy hunt but we also found ricochet so we picked up ricochet chase variant mustafa ali and we picked up the entire network spotlight set and they were having a sale on elite figures at target guys so if you want to get in on that sale at target right now they are on sale for $14.99 i think I think all elites are $15.99. You can save three or four bucks an elite. And that's what we did here. We saved like 30 bucks after picking up all those elites. So you can never have too many ricochets or Ali's because you know we got fix ups and customs and things of that nature. And who the hell knows when they're going to show up in the pig fed if they ever do. And you want to be prepared, man. You want to have customs and stuff for them to rock at different shows and all that good jazz. So I love Ali. Had to get the chase variant and we have ricochet. Next up, guys, we have two Adam Cole babies. And we're going to get into those right now. We have two different versions. We we actually did this on Action Figure Surgery yesterday, so if you guys missed that, go check that out, Action Figure Surgery episode 33. All we did for this was we made an Undisputed Era version and we made a singles version. So on the right, you can see here we switched out his boots for black boots and we switched out his tiny ass legs that he has and we switched out his knee pads, which were the large knee pads. I can't stand those knee pads. I had to switch them out. So I switched them out for the smaller ones and then we took the Undisputed armband off of the right one so it could be the singles look. And then we have this other one, which is Undisputed Air with the boots and the armband. So I wanted two different versions. I hated those small legs, had to switch those out. And I, of course, switched out the, the big knee pads so he could have better articulation. So love Adam Cole, one of my favorites in the world. Had to get, you know, both of those fixed up. Next up, guys, we have another great talent right here. And we have the NXT Elite slash Ringside Exclusive slash Fart in a Bag Gender Football CN Almas. And right here, it is all in white. I love this attire. I think it's great. I think the head scan's fantastic. It's a great figure. I don't know if this is still up for pre-order or if this is in stock at ringside, but you can go over there and check right now. And if it's on pre-order, you can pre-order it using the code MDTOYS. Or when it comes in stock, you know, you can wait on it. But I think I'd pre-order it, guys. I'd pre-order it so that, you know, you don't miss out on it. Because I think once it's gone, I think this figure is going to be really, really rare once it's gone because, you know, it's an NXT Elite. And how many of those NXT Elites are hard to find nowadays? So I think I would definitely go grab this. It's a great attire. And I think he's going to be a part of Elite Series 74 when it releases, so you're going to have to wait a while before getting a C and Alma, so definitely go put in that pre-order, but a beautiful figure nonetheless, and I love it so much.
was. So we have Cian Almas. We have all these other, I mean, my God, at the figures. Uh, I actually have some figures laying off to the side. I also got this Hardy Boys Battle Pack, which I switched out one of the head sculpts on one of the Hardys you're about to see. So I got this. And uh, next up, guys, we have four Jeff Hardys. And yes, you heard that correctly. We have four Jeff Hardys. And here is one of them. We have the Elite Series 71 with the pink head sculpt. Uh, almost vomited. We have another Elite 71 with the regular face paint. This is that Battle Pack head sculpt that I was talking about. The towel's falling out of his butt. Plug that back in. His other towel fell out now. Plug that back into the butt. And then we have our third Jeff Hardy and his towel also fell out. But anyways, we have three of the Elite 70. Um, I wanted one for the pink face paint. I wanted one for the, you know, regular non-face paint just because I like that look. And then I wanted one to switch out and kind of play around with fix-ups and things of that nature. So I went ahead and grabbed three of them. Don't judge me. It's my money. So we have three of the Jeff Hardys and they look great. Can't wait to do some different fix-ups with that. And then we have the Survivor Series Elite, which is a Walmart exclusive, which my boy Jesus told me about was up on the Walmart site. So I went to Walmart.com and grabbed that. I'm so happy that I got to get this. I freaking love this figure. I think it's great. I love the armbands going on and everything. We did an in-depth look at this. If you want to check out that video, we did do an in-depth review of it. Um, I love the head skull. I can't wait to this. If this hits Walmart soon, guys, I'm going to be hitting up Walmart and grabbing all of them, I think, because I really do love this head sculpt and I want to do some interchangeable fix-ups with this head sculpt. I have some cool ideas for face paint and, uh, you know, coloring the hair and stuff to match the armbands and things of nature that I'm thinking of. So that is something I want to do. So I'm really happy to have four of these Jeff Hardys and we're going to get some fix-ups going of that nature. But that is not all the figures, guys. Not only do we have all of these Elise that you see, all these figures that are filling up the ground floor right here, we also have some stuff that is still mock that we are going to be getting into. And the first figure that I picked up off eBay, guys, it was for $24 and you know I had to grab it. It's my boy Dolph Ziggler. This looks fantastic. So much better than the regular Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler. The Chase variant in the pink attire. Just so freaking flames nasty. I cannot wait to crack this hoe out of the packaging. And we're going to do some fix-ups with it. I have some smaller white arms. I have some, you know, white boots that I'm going to switch on here that have the black outsoles. Or I'll just paint the black outsoles on there so that, you know, we can get that going. And I am going to get another one so that I can do the black arms and the black boots because that is something I wanted to do. We talked about it here on the channel. So we have the Chase variant of Dolph Ziggler. And then we have the two final new things. Actually, all three of these things came in today. The Dolph Ziggler and these two figures back here, guys. We have the Ultimate Edition Finn Balor. And then we have the Ultimate Edition Triple Nipple H. So this is what we're looking at right here. And I think tomorrow we're going to do an in-depth review of both of them. So you guys can be on the lookout for that. Going to be really fantastic. I cannot wait to crack both of these out of their packaging. You guys know that they are two of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Finn Balor, one of my favorites currently, and then Triple H, one of my all-time goats, so I cannot wait to crack these open. You know, I'm not big on the Ultimate Torsos, but we'll have to see about that, but they look great. I'm really happy with them. Really unfortunate that Finn Balor's not in the pick fed, you know, really, you know, he's dead and stuff, so it's really unfortunate that, you know, we won't be able to use this demon Finn Balor or use it in the pick fed or anything like that, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you just gotta, it's just something that happens and, you know, uh, Kenny Omega the Bullet Club took him out, man, but I'm really happy to add these to the collection. Finn Balor and Triple H look look great. Love the head scans on both, but I cannot wait to freaking get into both of those, man. That is going to be epic review for tomorrow. We also have Dolph Ziggler on the top right there, and we're probably not going to do an in-depth review of that because, you know, we already did an Elite 70, and we didn't do the Chase variant because I'm not special enough to get them, but anyways, guys, that is going to do it. We broke down all these figures. Uh, freaking just tons and tons of stuff going on. Again, if you'd like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You can grab all of these figures. I'm super happy happy and blessed and excited to have all of these. Can't wait to get some use out of them. Put them up on display and it's going to be really sweet nasty farticles. That is going to do it for today's video guys. Check your targets. Check your Walmarts. Check all your farts in the bags. Check your gender football and I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.